Let anyone with ears to hear listen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today's gospel is teaching us the importance of the word of God in our lives. In the parable of the sower, the seed represents the word of God. There is one interesting thing which Jesus point out about the seed fallen on the path. He mentions about devil and his evil intentions. The purpose why the devil takes away the word from our hearts is that we may not believe and be saved. But Jesus our Savior desires that we be saved and he does every possible thing to save us. When people followed him, he knew what was there in their hearts. John 2.25 He knew that every were not really sincere, therefore they lacked a real spirit of repentance, a changed life, an honest commitment and a genuine faith. And in the parable, Jesus spoke about four things that happened to the seed when it was sown. Firstly, some seed fell by the path or wayside. These represent those people who did not hear thoroughly or deeply the word of God. And because of that, the devil comes and snatches the word away so that it does not enter into their hearts. And thus, he separates us from the Lord. The seeds lay on the top, and birds come and eat them up, and it remains on the surface like the outside part. Secondly, the seed on the rock. These represent those people who hear the word or receive the word with joy and becomes excited over it. They make a true commitment, but they fail because they have no roots. When the trials or temptations come, they fall away like the house built without a foundation. Thirdly, some seed fell among thorn. These represent those who have some faith. Obviously, they receive the word and honestly try to live for Christ. But as they go their way, they are choked by worries, riches, pleasures, fame and anxieties. Because of these, they fail to produce mature fruits. And finally, the seed on the good ground. These are they who have an honest and good heart. Therefore, when they hear the word and keep it, their hearts are noble, they honestly seek to learn and know truth. They keep the word and do not allow the devil to enter and come in their hearts. So dear brothers and sisters, let us try to identify ourselves and see in which category we belong. Let us be convinced of ourselves. Jesus is asking us to open our hearts and to receive his life-giving words. And so let us allow the word of God to dwell and grow in the fertile soil of our hearts that we may grow in his life-giving word, which is alive and active and sharper than any two-edged sword. Amen.